school. If you're interested in engineering or engineering technology, you might want to consider taking one of the four courses we offer. The first course that's good for 9th or 10th graders is Introduction to Engineering Design, and that just requires you to be in the Smart Core curriculum. What this class looks at is the process of design through consumer products and creating solutions to those problems and invent our three-dimensional solid modeling program. The next class is Digital Electronics, which is an electrical engineer's view of engineering, and you create and program circuits. Um, the prerequisites for that course are completing Algebra 1 successfully. Uh, the third course, which is good for juniors or seniors, is Principles of Engineering. This is a course that looks at the various engineering fields, such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering, and is a more hands-on approach to taking science and physics and completing projects and explaining how the science and physics make successful projects. The newest course we're offering next year for seniors is Biotechnical Engineering, and this is a look at combining technology with biology to create success successful solutions to help people, such as prosthetics, heart implants, or even a section on CSI type crime solving using the tools of science to help find out who the victim and murderer were. In doing extracurricular activities within the engineering department, we have the Technology Student Association, which is our engineering club. This will be our first year doing it, and the more students we have, we could possibly run additional teams. So if you're interested, please sign up. Thank you. Uh, drafting is one year, one full year, first and second semester. Architecture one is the next step, and it is also a full year program. And then you go on into architecture two, which is a full year program, but it has two hours. So it's a, a lab and a, a class. Uh, in drafting and design, you learn the basics in Architecture 1. You learn all residential perspectives. In Architecture 2, you do commercial perspectives. As an example, they're doing the, the new high school. Many, many fields, many opportunities. Everything that is built, created, has a plan, and we learn how to make those plans. Anyway, that's kind of drafting in a nutshell. Any questions, come see us in room 1101 or 1100. Thank you.